Hey, my name's Taylor Goggins. I'm a prosthodontist at Denver Restorative Dentistry. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use a face bow registration using the SAM face bow. Um, we just previously did a course on some of the reasons why to use a face bow. I just like to kind of summarize a couple of those reasons why we particularly at Denver Restorative Dentistry like to use face bows with our lovely patients. One, we like to get an arbitrary mounting of the patient's maxillary arch in relation to the hinge axis. This conveys essential information from the patient, much like where their interpupillary line is, their Frankfurt plane, and their horizontal occlusal plane. This also allows ease of mounting the case and doing an assessment of their occlusion. Also, their dynamic occlusion, how they function. We also like to sometimes make changes in the lab. And if we mount a case up in a centric relation position using a face bow mounted case, then we can make changes in the vertical dimension of occlusion. This allows us to save chair time and um, also laboratory time. So this also allows us for maximum communication to our lab, which is in-house, even though we can kind of yell at them across the room, but allows us to give the best information to them uh, possible for this case. Today, we have our lovely assistant, who is actually our hygienist here at Denver Resort of Dentistry. <laughs> this is Christy. She has uh, volunteered unwillingly, no, very willingly, to participate in this uh, demonstration. So we are going to kind of go over a couple of the instruments that we'll be using and the products that we'll be using to take the face bow. Uh, do you want to hand me that? So this is the uh, transfer bow that Sam makes. We've inserted these blue earpieces in the face bow in order to comfortably place this in the patient's ears and by using these it actually makes it more accurate to relate the porion or the hinge axis to the patient from the patient to the articulator. Um, this is the Nasion relator. This will go on the bridge of her nose. It inserts onto the face bow transfer. <clears throat> and then we will be using a transfer fork and a transfer assembly to then relate the bite registration to the uh, transfer bow. So I am going to put my mask on. And we'll do this procedure here. So I like to begin by putting the transfer bow on the patient. So I usually say, hey, can you grab that and help me insert these blue tabs in your ear and put them in as snugly as you can without it being uncomfortable, as far forward and up in your ear as possible, okay? Then we'll use the Nasion relator here and tighten it to then allow her to let go of the transfer assembly there. And then I'll look to see how her interpupillary line correlates with the indicator right here. Okay? Oftentimes we'll even have the patient stand up and see if it's uh, even with the, with the floor. Okay? So next, we'll put some bite registration material. You can use wax as well, heat it up and place in the mouth. Just for the ease and simplicity of the demonstration, we're gonna be using some bite registration, which 
then is inserted in the patient's mouth. I usually like to kind of wipe that off. I'll have the patient open and I'll tell them, I'm just going to do all the work here. I'm just going to seat that on all your upper teeth. We're going to let that cure for a little bit. You can also have the patient bite down on this once it's set if you feel like you don't want to have any air of it moving. Once I know it's starting to go through the setting process, we can have her bite down on the transfer fork. All right, Christy, you want to bite down for us there? This is unnecessary if you have two um, operators doing this. My assistants will often do this uh, by themselves, which they are pros at it. We'll then put the transfer assembly onto the face bow assembly here and tighten it. We'll tighten this in her ears as well. And then we will relate the bite fork to the face bow and then tighten it and I'll have my assistant hold it there and I'll make sure and have the patient look directly at me to make sure her interpupillary line is level with the horizontal indicator piece. Once we know that the bite registration is set, we can disassemble this. We release the nasion piece. We release this piece in order to be able to take it out of her ears. We ask her to open and then we can just pop this out of her mouth. So this is how the face bow jig should look. The only information that needs to be kept is saved within the transfer assembly. This will be used to then mount the upper model onto the upper member of the articulator. So, pretty easy. If you have any questions, just repeat the video and proceed as we did.